Hey guys, and welcome to game number 90 out of 100 of the Mac vs. Machine series, where I'll be playing 100 games of Scrabble against the top online bot, HastyBot. The good news is I've already clinched the series, sitting at 52 and a half wins, but the bad news is I'm now on a four-game losing streak, including the last one, which I definitely should have won, so hopefully we can turn things around here in game number 90 and start off the final stretch of games in a strong way. Okay, so Litu to open for the bot. Bed Quilt with a D would be nice, but we're going to gladly settle for Quillet for 64. Certainly not a bad backup by any means. Okay, Hasty Bot exchanges four, so very good start for us. Jube to this E looks quite strong. 29 points, keeping AEPR. Hard to imagine we'll do much better. Abjur? we have on our rack, but it doesn't play anywhere, really. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Usage by HastyBot, and we should be bingoing, I would imagine here. Yeah, we have Portage at the minimum. There may be something better. Let's see. I don't really want to play Portage over here and give back a big hook. So this is one where it's worth definitely going through the alphabet. Pergola is also there, but still gives back an S hook that I'm not really dying to. Uh, I don't see any other sevens. Oh, I guess I have groupage. Yeah, that's got to be better. I mean, it's a point sacrifice a little bit, but not by much. It's actually only two less points, and it gives back way less, so that's got to be better. Okay, so Bingo's back with Coaster, but I'm still in a very good position, especially given I just drew the other blank, and we'll be Bingoing back with Eye Hole at the minimum. So yeah, Eye Hole plays next to Coaster for 70. Of course, it gives back a lot. I'd love to not put an E in the middle of that triple-triple lane. Do I have anything else that plays? I have almost knee hole or peep hole, something like that. Feed hole as well, I believe is good. But I don't think I have anything in this position other than eye hole available. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so Bowery comes down, and wow, we drew Convent. So very, very good start to this game. We're about to play our third consecutive bingo, and I feel like that should just about lock this game up. Yeah, we're up 130 nearly, and this board is already pretty shot. That's the one thing, if you bingo a lot, it often tends to exhaust the board of space and just leave your opponent very little to work with. So, yeah, I mean, if you look at this board, really, I mean, where is there to bingo? Theoretically, you could bingo above Bowery, but that's difficult to do. That'll require ending with an A or having the second-to-last tile of a 7 be an A. There's a couple floaters on the left through groupages. The G and the R, there's the C. There's a couple much more remote possibilities, uh, like maybe some crazy overlap over here could be possible. I don't even know what would fit there. Something ending in like E blank A something S? I don't even know. But in any case, it's very hard to bingo on this board, which is very good for us given our lead. Probably the most likely spot is either above Bowery or through the GR and groupages. Can I score a lot with Oma? I probably can. Yeah, I, th I think just Llama is fine. 33 points. Doesn't give a lot back. Anything to this Y? Not really, I don't think. Anything, no. All right, I think I'm going to just play Llama. Seems like a pretty good play. OK, Hastybot just plays halved. So probably has a good leave, but there's just nowhere to bingo. Really, so I'm just going to keep this board as tight as possible, I think, at this point, and 
not give the bot anything to work with if I can manage to do that. Granted, I don't have a lot on this rack either. Maybe who do I have here? Dirk? It's not great. It's not terrible though. Yeah, it gives back some stuff below ending in ION, which I don't love doing. I just don't really see anything better. I guess there's also plays with Fred. I don't want to keep four consonants though. I mean, I'd love to keep my I. I just don't really see a good way to do that while also scoring a reasonable number of points. Oh, there is Kowtow. But it doesn't really score anything and gives back an S hook, which is the last thing I want to do here. So I think Dirk is fine. Might not be the most precise play, but it's perfectly reasonable. Okay, so he just plays Japing. And not a great draw for us, but that's fine. How do I get rid of some of these clunkers? I don't have anything really through this R. Va somewhere? Just Vid? Vid is actually not terrible. Keeps Waft, which is a good scoring lead, especially with some Vowels Unseen. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. I'm going to go ahead and play that. Okay, so Ego for Hasty Bot. Yeah, there's just really nothing to be done here on this board. If he can't bingo through this R, which I could block, but at the same time, I know even if somehow about bingo's there, I'm going to have more than enough points to withstand that, giving him up 150 or so. So I guess I could block it with something like Swarf or Zarf. I could also just leave it. I mean, I'm not going to play Fatwa or something here, just because that would give back big bingos on column O, potentially. So I don't want to do that. Yeah, I guess just playing Swarf is fine. I mean, the S is not particularly useful to me on this board. It's probably better than Zarf. I guess Zarf sets up the S and also the A here. So that's interesting. And the Z is probably not a very good tile on this board, so maybe Zarf is better than Swarf. Yeah, the Z could actually, especially if there's an X on C, I don't think I really want to keep the Z as well. It could become a bit of a liability. I could also just play Fizz or Wiz. Maybe I should just play Wiz. Yeah, maybe I should just play Wiz and leave that open. I mean, with that pool, actually, there's already two more R's on C, and there's no T's. It's not that likely it's going to bingo through that R. And even if he does, he'll be giving me back a big play on the one column, and I can easily withstand it. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to play Wiz. Let's just leave it alone. I feel like that's what I would do if I were in a tournament. Okay, yeah, he just plays Dao. And now with no A's or O's in scene, it's going to be even harder for a bingo through the G or the R to come down. I don't think there's anything to this C either. We have Ratafias with an I, but no I's available. I guess, honestly, if I were playing a game where spread matters, I might consider just playing Fa here, right? I know I'm not going to lose. There's going to be only six in the bag, so he can't bingo twice, even if he bingos there. And I have a pretty good rack. Like, I'm fairly likely to draw something like Antiars or... How if I draw EI? Would that bingo? Asteria, Atresia, Ariste. Maybe not. Actually, maybe that wouldn't bingo after Fa. So maybe I'm not that likely to draw something. Is it just Antiars, really, that would bingo? If so, it's probably not worth it. Yeah, I mean, he probably has the S, given how much he's been fishing. So, maybe I'm better off just playing here, because I still could draw into Serena. Yeah, actually, because here I can still draw Serena or Ariste, Atresia, Asteria, or something like that pretty easily. So, that's probably fine. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, I did draw Serena. So that worked out very well. Artisan, Antiars, Sarina. Wait, oh, Artisan doesn't quite fit here. It almost, it almost fits. If Oman were good, I could play Artisan over there. 
But I think Serena is the only thing that plays. So he could bingo out for a lot, but if he does, then he does. I'll still have more than enough to win. Yep, okay. That is fine. So yeah, he'll get a lot of points actually from my X and my Y, but I'm still going to win by over 100. 504 to 387, the final score. Definitely a bit of a bagging there. I got, uh, what I get? Four bingos and three of them were early on in addition to Quillet for 64. So drew very well that game, but I will take it after a rough stretch. So, uh, good, good win for us here. And, uh, let's take a look and see how we did this game. So he steep out with a clunky opening rack, opening with Lee 2. Um, I don't know. I might have exchanged here, keeping IRT. I don't hate Lee 2, though, especially it doesn't give back an S hook since Lee 2's is no good. So it makes my life a little bit difficult. It's close. I think that's fine. I think exchanging is also fine. Quillet, clearly the best play. And yeah, brutal draw for the bot here, pulling two more O's and an A and an E. So clearly has to exchange. Jube looks good. Usage, yeah, and uh, I did see Pergola and Portage, but they both just give back way too much for only uh, only a two-point gain over groupage. So that looks like clearly the best play. Uh, I haul only bingo here, so glad I didn't miss that. That's the type of rack where it looks pretty clunky, and especially you wouldn't think a Y would be the blank when you already have three E's and an O, so it's an easy one to miss. I've definitely seen I haul and other I words missed, so glad I found that one. Uh, luckily for me, Bowery was not that bad an outcome. Luckily, he didn't have a triple-triple or anything else big do the E, and I drew Convent right out of the bag. So yeah, mostly I just... And I also blocked the Nomist as well. So really, really lucky breaks for me here. Uh, oh, I missed Datery, which is maybe a little bit better. It is a considerably easier for him to bingo in the end column now, though, because DE is good, whereas LE is not. So Lama makes it a little harder for him to bingo back, but Datery is six more points, and gets rid of an extra consonant, so probably would have played it if I saw it. So, small mistake, but at that point in the game, I should be in pretty good shape to win, regardless of what I do. Um, oh, Fawn, yeah, that's probably better. Just, I had a feeling I was missing something here. That that spot, I think, uh, escaped me. I saw Fid and didn't like it, but yeah, Fawn looks good just to keep the eye for insurance. It's often good when you're up this much, just because your opponent's often going to try to make a setup or some other desperation play just to keep a vowel for insurance. And sometimes the best way to get in trouble and lose a lead is for your opponent to make a setup and then you to be saddled with seven consonants and not be able to block it. So Fawn would have been a better play here just to save that eye as an insurance blocker if needed. Uh, Dirk is not a bad play, but Fawn is uh, certainly a little bit more precise. So a little sloppy here towards the end of the game, but luckily, yeah, and here I missed Dwarf. Jeesh. Okay, so... Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty bad. So very sloppy, actually, for me towards the end of the game. I mean, Vid is way worse. Fawn is still there, and Dwarf is... Uh, I saw the spot on the next turn, but somehow I just didn't come up with Dwarf here. So very sloppy. Um, Ego, and then... Yeah, I'm still just uh, not seeing Fawn. I think Wiz is fine, though, here. The the Z is not a particularly good tile on this board, so... Uh, so Wiz seems fine, and then, uh, and then I managed to bingo on the next turn. So, so yeah, I mean... When it mattered, I played pretty well. Once I was up a lot and pretty much not going to lose regardless of what I did, I played very sloppily. I mean, I missed Fawn on the, the Dirk turn. That was pretty bad. Uh, and then, yeah, missing Dwarf when I played Vid is extremely careless. That would have been a, a much better play also to block that line at that point. So not too thrilled with this game given how much my level of play went down towards the end, but still glad I... Got the win. Uh, got some fun bingos down. Uh, groupage, eye hole. You don't see those too often. Quill, it was a good play. So, uh, like I said, I played well when it kind of mattered, but um, would have liked for it to be a little bit of a cleaner game at the end. But uh, okay, um, it is what it is, and mostly glad to get the win and get some positive momentum back on our side as we go into the final ten games of the series. So that brings us to fifty-three and a half wins through ninety games. So we have ten games left, and. Let's see if we can get at least uh, six and a half or really uh, seven more wins just to pass the 60 win mark. That would be pretty good if we can uh, if we can do that. So let's see how it goes. And uh, we are now officially entering the home stretch, the final 10 games, with game number 91, which uh, will be available soon. So I look forward to seeing you all there. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys, as always. Uh, appreciate the support. That's it for this one. So I'll see you soon and have a good one. Bye-bye.